Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're checking out some chips. I have uh, some HERS game day flavors. All right, these were new. Saw these at a, uh, a Weiss grocery store. They sounded super interesting. The pizza, not so much. We've seen pizza flavor chips. All right, so this one's cheesy pizza. And this one here is one I really want to try. This is called Wizwits. All right, and essentially this is a cheesesteak flavored chip, which sounds awesome. So it is a fall day. It is not actually game day. <laughs> game day is in a couple days. Um, I just watched the Giants lose yesterday, unfortunately. I am a New York Giants fan, uh, and it is, it's tough being a fan. Growing up in the, uh, the 90s, they were a much better team. I, I have to say, not to get into a whole football thing here, but uh, the Giants have lots of talent, and uh, they can't figure out how to put it together. It is uh, just repeatedly disappointing watching the play. But hey, I'm a fan, so that means till the end. As much as they suck, you still gotta watch them. All right, so let's try these. Uh, we're gonna try the pizza first. Hmm. Okay. Ruffle chips, they smell mostly potato-y. Doesn't smell like super pizza or anything. Right. Yeah, it smells a little bit like tomato, I guess. Maybe a tomato sauce. Cheers. Okay. Mm. Those are actually really nice. Um, I think what I like about them is that they're they're kind of subtle. It's not like a huge punch of, of flavor. It is a subtle type flavor. They're kind of salty. But they do capture the cheese and the tomato together. All right, let me try another one. Yeah, it's not bad. It tastes, it tastes kind of like pizza. It's just not, it's not super strongly flavored. I'm just getting, I'm getting potato, obviously for the chip, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of that sauce, maybe just a little hint of garlic. Not really getting any herbs or anything. Yeah, it's good, it's not bad. I like it. All right, these are the ones that I'm interested in trying. These are also ruffles. Oh, okay. That smells kind of weird. Definitely cheese. Some onion, and there's like a funk, which I'm assuming is the, the cheese steak, the, the actual meat part. Hmm. Fascinating. All right, going in. Got lots of uh, flavored dust. Cheers. Wow. All right, so first off, tons of flavor. Like there's a lot of flavoring, like physical powdered flavoring on this. So they come across as salty, uh, like more salty than the other ones. At least that one did, I mean, it's covered. Let's get another one here. No, they're all pretty darn covered. So you definitely have a, um, like a cheddar cheese flavor. There's definitely onion going on there. And there is a meat flavor. The meat flavor is actually like, it's probably even with the onion. And I don't know if that's like specifically beef, you know, or steak. It's good. It is good, I, I do like it. Um, it's just kind of weird that the meat flavor is so, like, in the background. It, it really is cheese. It's like 50% cheese with a little potato from the chip, and then, you know, the rest is a mix of things. A little bit of onion, a little bit of a meat thing going on. That's fascinating. Now, as far as the picture goes, they are just showing nacho cheese sauce and onions. They're not showing, like, obviously, cheesesteak, you can have tons of toppings. You could do... Uh, you know, peppers, that's super common, onions and peppers, um, mushrooms, a lot of people put mushrooms on their cheesesteak sandwich. It's good though, but just kind of salty. Mmm, damn. It's, it's so strongly flavored. This is probably the most flavored chip I think I've ever had. 
Wow. It's pretty good though. Um, but it's mostly cheese. I was kind of hoping it would be mostly the meat flavor. It's almost like I could taste the bread, which is weird because I don't know how they would put bread flavoring in something. Um, it's good. What I would do with these though, is I would take a bowl of just regular plain potato chips and I would sprinkle these in there, you know, like maybe 75% plain Lay's and then like 25% these and just literally mix them up. So as you're eating them, you get one of these, but then you get some plain ones. It kind of spreads out that flavor because it's so strongly flavored. I'll do that often with like popcorn. If I get a flavored popcorn, and I'm mentioning this because I did this like a week ago where I was at a, um, you know, a festival, a fall festival, and they have all the different vendors. And I got some dill flavored popcorn and we got some, they had pierogi flavored popcorn, which was phenomenal. It actually really tasted like uh, pierogies. But it was so strongly flavored and salty and just, it was such a punch that I, I just made regular popcorn, sprinkled some in there, mixed it in. And it kind of made the experience a little better because sometimes when something's too flavored, it's just, it's too intense. You know what I mean? Like, if I were just to have a bowl of these, I, like, I don't know, five, ten chips in, I'd be like, eh, I'm over it, you know, because it's just too much. It's too much flavoring. But the flavor is good, honestly. I'd probably recommend both of these. You know, if you happen to see them, try them out. Hers game day. I know they've had um, a bunch of ones in the past. Cheeseburger, which I remember being really good. In fact, they I didn't get them this time, but they do have like the uh, cheese doodles and they're cheese, cheeseburger flavored, which has, you know, the onion and the pickle and the meat. So those were actually really good. I, I don't know if, I know I've had them. I don't know if I ever did a video on it, but anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. If you guys try these, let me know what you think of it. And let me know like the weirdest chip you ever had. Uh, obviously in America, they're doing lots of flavors all the time with everything. Limited edition Oreos and chips and cookies and all kinds of crap, right? Um, but you know, a lot of times you'll see like, um, you know, Lay's from different countries and they have unique flavors like shrimp paste or, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, it's kind of cool with the internet. You can get all these different snack companies and snack boxes and you can get, you know, uh, snacks from Japan and, and India and all over the world. I always think that's really fascinating. Even talking about something like McDonald's, you know, having a specific type of item that's only available in one country. And obviously that's catered to that type of cuisine that those, you know, people wherever they're, they're serving that they're used to or may like. Um, like poutine, for example, that's a Canadian thing, right? I love that. I love the cheese curds and the fries and the gravy. It's amazing. We just don't get that in the States very often. So like, it's kind of a shame because you get, you know, a taste for different things all around the world and uh, they're just, you know, hard to get. But specifically with snacks, things like this, it's limited edition. So even if you love these, I mean, you know, they're probably never gonna make them again. It's just an experience. I love the food experience. The most tastiest things I've ever had in my life. I, I just, I don't go back to them because I like trying new things. That's why I make these videos, just trying it. Um, obviously these aren't permanent flavored chips, but anyway, I'm kind of rambling. So they're good, I like them. If you wanna try them out, check them out. If you did, let me know in the comment section here what you thought of them, but I like them. Thanks for watching, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.